Max Bauer admits he is a deceiver. This is the last video I believe that he put up. This was sent to me. Um, he actually showed, he did a live stream video and actually showed street views of my house here, Bridgewater, Maine, address and phone number. Uh, very bad case of doxing. And he admitted oh, in the thing, well, I'm not doxing, I'm not doxing. I'm just showing things, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't do that. And uh, he took the video down and uh, his brother sent me the link before it was taken down. But very, very interesting thing in this. Um, he actually admits at one point in time that he's a deceiver, that he's a fake. I'm going to give you his exact words here. He says, he's talking about me and he's all angry and everything else. And he says, I really have to uh, dial back the inner person in me to even speak on the internet because I realize I'm speaking to the world. He has to dial back the inner person in him. I thought Christ is supposed to be the inner person in us. He says, uh, and talking in person, it wouldn't be that nice. I'll tell you that. So uh, the guy uses the F word in his videos. He uses other profanity and things. Um, and and if, it, if you were talking to him in person, he wouldn't be that nice in, refer, in reference to how he feels about me. I did you get guys like Robert Breaker, uh, who thinks the world of uh, Max Bauer, it's not even his real name. The guy's in supposed public ministry, takes donations, and yet he can't even use his real name because you see his real name would link to the fact that the guy is a criminal. Uh, big criminal past and, you know, and, and, uh, and, you know, internet scamming and the whole deal. And this guy is Robert Breaker's buddy. So I'm going to show you the video now and uh, you can hear it from his own mouth. Here it is. I really have to uh, dial back the inner person in me to even speak on the internet because I realize I'm speaking to the world. And talking in person, it wouldn't be that nice. I'll tell you that. Um, there you go. He has to dial back the inner person. Because he can't uh, be honest about what he really feels and what he'd really like to say about me, a preacher. Kind of an interesting thing there, that a man that's supposed to be a Christian and a lot of these enemies of mine, they rely on this guy um, and they go there and they'll, it's so funny, I get people and they say, why are you attacking Robert Breaker and you shouldn't have been making fun of him and things, you know, you're, you need to grow up, you're immature, whatever else. Um, I'm making fun of a false prophet, first of all, but uh, you ought to go over to some of uh, Max Bauer's videos and his videos where he actually impersonates me and makes fun of me and attacks me personally about all kinds of different things. And look in the comments, you'll see Robert Breaker there uh, making fun, um, changing the first part of my name, Den, to Dung. Um, it's a problem. Psalm 101, verses 1 through 8. We're going to read these verses here. I'm going to show you a very interesting tie-in here. Psalm 101, verse 1. I will sing of mercy and judgment. Unto thee, O Lord, will I sing. A Christian should want judgment. And uh, you say, well, it's not written to... Psalm is very much... The things that are written aforetime are written for our learning. The book of Psalms has some real beautiful blessings in it. I realize doctrinally you're in the Old Testament. You know, there's a political system there and whatever else with the Jews and the nation of Israel. But uh, there's a lot of instruction in righteousness. We should love judgment. Verse 2, I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. Righteous living. O oh, when wilt thou come unto me? I will walk within my heart, house with a perfect heart. It isn't just, you know, oh, uh, well, when I'm on the Internet, I kind of have to, you know behave myself a little bit. I can still use the F word in some of my videos, you know, like this Max Bauer guy does. Um, no, it's actually also when you are in your house. Um, I'm the same guy in my home as I am when I'm preaching, when I meet people out in the street and whatever else, when I witness to people. But uh, Max Bauer says that uh, I have to dial back who I really am, my inner person. Um, but if you met me in person, it wouldn't be that nice. And some of you people think he's saved and I'm lost. 
You need to be saved. Verse 3, I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. Hmm. I wonder if old uh, Max there, I wonder if he hates the, uh, or hates things that are wicked things. You know, does he put wicked things before his eyes? I'll say it that way. Does he hate that stuff? Uh, no, he actually reviews movies on his channel. But he's saved and I'm lost. You people are so wicked. Verse 4, a froward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. I have no friends that are wicked people. I'll tell you that much right now. I hate the sound of profanity. And I have ever since I've gotten saved. Before I was saved, I'd swear. I'd watch a lot of movies, Hollywood filth movies and things that had profanity in them. Didn't bother me a bit. I got saved and that was the first things, one of the first things that went. All of a sudden, the sound of profanity, just, I can't handle it anymore. Can't stand it. And I'll tell you what, if you can hang out with wicked people, and you're not witnessing to them and things like that, you just hang out and, and whatever, um, you better check yourself. There's a big problem there. Verse 5, Whoso privily slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that hath an high look and a proud heart, will not I suffer. Mine eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. And I did a whole study on the thing of perfection as a Christian. The Bible, the New Testament, says that you can be perfect. But it defines how that perfection can come. It doesn't mean sinless. Okay? Watch the study on that. I'll put links at the end if I can remember to do it. Uh, verse 7. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. A preacher of righteousness, like Robert Breaker is supposed to be, and yet he's companion to this wicked man that openly admits in a live stream that he has to dial back who he really is. He admitted that he's a fake. Verse 8, I will early destroy all the wicked of the land, that I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. We shouldn't want to be around people that cuss. We shouldn't be, want to be around people that are drunkards and tell dirty jokes and look at pornographic stuff and, and whatever, all, all, the, all the different things out there. Righteousness. Um, I just don't see how people can continue to support that side over there. I do. I mean, I understand it's because you're lost. You don't have the Holy Spirit of God within you and you're looking for company. You know, misery loves company. Well, lost people love company as well. You want to create a branch of Christianity in which you don't even have to talk to God to get saved. You save yourself by your own intellect, your own belief. Yeah. You don't have to ask God to be saved. You just say, well, I believe it. I'm saved. Boom. Doesn't matter what God has to say about it. I'm going to say it. I'm just declaring myself saved because of my belief. I can go on living like the devil. And all these people do. Every single one of them. It's funny, I come out with some videos too, by the way. The Common Sayings of Lost People. And uh, the only group that attacked that whole thing was this Max Bauer and that circle. The circle of those people. All of a sudden they're doing videos refuting my videos. Hmm. And, you know, I, people keep me informed of stuff, you know, whatever. I get people writing me and say, did you see this? Did you see that? I'm taking screenshots, emailing it to me and things and whatever. I know what's going on. I know what's going on. See, you can keep playing your little game, keep pretending to be Christians, Bible-believing Christians, but, uh, you know, it's not about me. It's not about the friends of this ministry. Uh, it's about you're dealing with the Lord Jesus Christ, and He's going to put an end to your lying tongues. And um, quite frankly, I think a lot of you are past the point of coming back. Um, to truth. I really do. I think you start to cross the line when you get to a point where you can just lie and lie and lie. So go ahead. Keep keep your lying. Keep keep it going. And uh, this Max Bauer guy, um, he disappeared after that whole video thing there. Uh, I have no idea what happened to him. With his criminal past, I think maybe he went out and got drunk again and was in jail someplace or whatever else. I don't know. You say, don't you have some sympathy for him? No, actually, I don't. No, I don't. Um, there are some people that uh, deserve my sympathy. Um, I'm sympathetic towards people that 
uh, have never heard the gospel presented. I'm sympathetic to uh, Catholics that have been raised in that system and they've never heard the gospel clearly presented to them. I'm trying to reach them. I try to reach other secular people out there. Um, I'm very sympathetic to the lost world. But when I see people that know the truth and that just obsessively just binge watch everything I do and everything my friends on YouTube do and just constantly are trying to undermine us and undermine us and undermine us and just have to make videos about everything we say. Um, I have no sympathy for you. You can burn in the fires of hell for all of eternity and I'll laugh right along with the Lord at you. And he's going to laugh, by the way. He's going to mock when your fear comes. You can read Proverbs chapter 1 talks about that. So, um, if you're out there and you're being deceived by Robert Breaker and this circle of, of people, uh, I'd get as far away from them as you can. All right, um, I've been in ministry a long time now, and I've saved a lot, you know, going farther back than that. And I've been in Baptist churches, and I've preached in pulpits and whatever else. I'm not a novice, okay? Uh, these people try to make me out to be some kind of a novice. I'm not a novice. And almost all of them were followers of my ministry at one point in time and friends, quote-unquote, friends of the ministry. Um, but the Holy Spirit, through me, helped to prick them in some point, and all of a sudden, they just, they're gone. Go from a friend to an enemy, just like that. And uh, I've seen the way these people deal with things, and um, I would recommend you get away from them, okay? You can disagree with me all you want to. Uh, that's fine. I hope that you open your Bible and read along when I'm preaching. But uh, these people, they will mess you up. So that is going to be it. Thank you for watching.